Well, police are searching for suspects after neighbors woke up to find dozens of cars with slashed tires. Kelsey McFarland tells us it's the residents who are left footing the bill for that vandalism. Detectives say 19 people woke up with holes in their tires this morning. Neighbors say it looked like someone took a knife and slashed the tires, making it impossible for them to get around. Joshua Thorson and his wife just had a baby. He was in the NICU at St. Al's for uh, 48 days, so I took a month off while he was there. She's been off since he was born. After taking some time off work to care for their newborn, the family is tied on money. Then the couple found out their car's tire had been slashed overnight. Disgusts me. Joshua says it will probably cost him 150 bucks to fix. It was completely flat when I came out here. Nice hole in the sidewall so it can't be repaired. I don't know how we're going to pay for a new tire. He thinks yeah, it happened between 1 like and 6 like in the morning. Pretty. Nampa police tells KBOI 2 News the Thorison's car was just one of 19 whose tires had been slashed. Detectives count 49 damaged tires in the neighborhood near Holly Street and Florida Avenue. Oh, and for Claudia Podaca, oh, okay. it wasn't just one car. All three of her family's cars had slashed tires. She says she uses the vehicles for everything. For work and taking care of my son and taking him to daycare and make sure that he has everything. Claudia says their insurance won't help with the cost of repairing six tires. We have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow morning. I hope they find him. I hope that they get, you know, arrested, prosecuted, something. Because someone needs to pay for this. Investigators say they think this is random and they're still not sure who slashed all the tires. If you have any information that might help, call Nampa Police.